just moments away from puck drop. Both teams seem ready to go. You can feel the intensity of this one. Total playoff atmosphere. We're underway. The Canucks gain possession along the wall. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Here's a short pass to Connor. Demko's got the puck and he's going to hang on. Lots of time left in this period. We've still got zeros on the board. The Jets win the draw and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Hammers him in the open ice. All alone. Oh, a great hustle to break up the breakaway. That's exactly why you have to have urgency on the back check, James. But when you have that puck on your stick, you have to have the situational awareness and know what's around you. That takeaway is huge. Moves it quickly over to Ehlers. Slick feed. Down the right side and into the zone. Takes it to the net. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. Receives the pass. Villardi's got it against the boards. Here's a chance in front. And he cuts up big again. Now he's reading these shooters so well. He's getting in front of them. He's aggressive. And he's challenging them to beat him, James. And that's what I love about him. A ton of confidence. And they win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Now a quick pass to Jamelo. Great defensive stick work on the play. Turn that one aside. Takes a shot. Too much congestion in front. And that play's neutralized. The Canucks have it now. Knocks the puck loose. Takes it at center. Picked up along the boards by Dillon. Rocks him. The Canucks have it against the wall. Oh, he got hammered. And look at this. He's, he's on his own bench. At least you can take your time getting up when it's your own bench, James. Yeah, that's one. I'd be way happier landing on this one than the opposition. Moves the puck along the half wall. Oh, he couldn't put it past. What a stop by Demko. It's amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well. And this time he gets in front of the puck that's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. Demko's light work zone ability is his proficiency for turning aside wrist shots, guys. It's almost like he's built a book on shooters in this league. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Uses the force on that hit. Scores! It's in the back of the net! It is so difficult to shut down speed, and this is exactly what he's doing here, James, in transition. When you have a first few strides that are urgent, you get on your horse, you can open up ice for everyone, and that's exactly what happens, and he delivers a perfect pass that's executed. The Canucks land the game's first goal here in the first half of the opening frame. Oh, well, yeah, and I really like their game, James. It's not just about getting on the board first, but I like the way they've established a forecheck and they've held possession. I think they've done a real good job. They've had a consistent effort. Now they've got to find a way to finish the back half of this period the same way. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period, we've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. Back on the way as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. What a save by Hellebuck. Here's a shot. Denies him again. Well, he has been under siege, and I'm loving his compete level. I mean, he's making consecutive saves one after another. And that's a smart heads-up play by Barron. The Jets are doing a great job of anticipating the play, and that's why the puck is on their stick. They're intercepting pucks all game long. They've got to make good on them. They've got to transfer it, head north, and start cashing in. Puck dumped in. The Jets scoop it up along the boards. Connors across the line now and on the attack in the offensive end. 
Vancouver's got it in their own zone. Gaining momentum along the wing. Broken up in the neutral zone by Shifley. Solid hit on the play. The Canucks will play it in their own end. Dished on over to Susie. Winnipeg's looking to break out of their own end. Gets it over to Giuseppe. Love that hit. Denied by the goaltender. Well past the midway mark of this period. Vancouver's ahead, 1-0. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Morrissey's moving it ahead. Oh, and just like that, steals the puck and goes the other way. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Pedersen's accuracy when shooting a puck that's flat and settled on the ice is his snipe zone ability, and it's what makes his shot so dangerous. Hellebuck's got great technique and the athletic ability to fast off his team effectively. Look to one of these players to be a difference maker in this one. Back up to the booth. And he makes a save there. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Centers are lined up and we are ready to resume. And they take possession here in the offensive zone and time to go on the attack. Great stop by the goaltender off the glove. Well, this save was way more difficult than it looked, James. I mean, there's so much traffic in front that he's fighting through to see, and he finds the puck to make the save. The score! And that's back-to-back -back goals! Well, nothing like switching momentum and putting your opponent on their heels and getting two in a row back-to-back. -back. Here they come. You know it's a hard shot when the goaltender gets a big piece of it, but it still trickles in. Vancouver's in control of this one so far, Cheryl, wouldn't you say, with a two-goal lead? Absolutely, James, and often you don't see this urgency until the end of the game, but they started with it, and as a result, they've got a two-goal lead. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. Scores! They strike again, and that's three unanswered goals. Over and over and over again, James, and you can see the excitement on the bench. They know that they've deflated and they push their opponent back on their heels. They need to keep plugging away here and not get complacent. Precision passing is what leads to this one-timer opportunity. And it wasn't just an opportunity, James. It was a direct finish as he just slaps it and hammers it home. The Canucks are dominating in almost every facet of the game here in the first. And off the face-off, they take possession. Quick feed to Pedersen. Dropped into the open ice. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. And we'll get a face-off after the offside call. Here in the back half of this period, the Canucks have taken control of this one, now leading by three. Winnipeg's come up with possession after that neutral zone draw. And turns it aside with ease. Oh, what a little beauty stop right there. What a sequence. I mean, he has been outstanding making consecutive saves. I mean, his defense, they got to start playing. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. And he breaks up the opportunity in front with a poke check. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Late goings of this period. Vancouver's got a 3-0 lead. They have been in control right from the start. Lafferty's gained possession, and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. Off a stick, and they can't connect. Quick pass to Perfetti. Vancouver's got a hold of the puck. And he can't hang on after that hit. Grabbed along the board by Nemesnikov. Moves it to McKay. Dylan's lugging the puck. Takes the feed. Here's a short pass to Niederreiter. 
And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. Niederreiter's known for his creativity, and he tries one too many moves there, and he loses the puck. Winnipeg's got it along the wall. Moves it quickly over to Mikheyev. And nearing the final 60 seconds of this opening stanza. Slides it diagonally, tie a fellow. Puts it on net. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Demko. You have to be quick in your crease if you want to be able to deny low zone shots. He does that perfectly as he's tight to the shooter right there. That's blocked. Big save right at the end. Well, the play might come to an end for a few minutes at the end of this period, but the coaching never stops. I'm sure there'll be a few messages and a few words and we'll be back with period number two in no time. A chance for both teams to refuel. They are back on the ice, and period number two is about set to go. Here we go. Lots of time left in this one, but certainly a lopsided affair to this point. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? The Jets have been terrible in the first 20 minutes, James. You know there's going to have to be something that was said during that second intermission. I mean, they're getting blown out in all areas of the game, and that was just a lack of preparation right from the start. Vancouver's been all over them here in this second period. Just look at the score, and they have dominated in the shot clock, too. Shifley's won the faceoff. The Jets pick up steam and are on the attack. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Vancouver's got the puck in the defensive end. Handles the pass. Denies it in front. By slashing the leather on this save, the shooter's in a great A scoring area, and man, he just whips out the glove and makes the save. The Canucks continue to lead here in the second period as they have been the busier team in the shot department, and it shows. Picked up along the wall by Pionk. Quick feed to Velarde. Lays the body. Vancouver's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Oh, he got blocked right into the bench. Uh, this was purposeful. you got to be aware of where you are on the ice, especially when you're near your opponent's bench, and now he is on the other side of it. Man, he's got to pick his head up and get out of there. Big time save on a big time shot. From point blank range. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Vancouver's on easy street right now. They lead it 3-0. Suters won the draw here in their own zone. And he's knocked off the puck there. He says, let's get physical in that play. Lifts the stick and takes the puck. Look at this attack. It's smothering here in the band. are loving it. Winnipeg's got the puck along the wall. Tries to get it to Perfetti. Pass to Appleton. Off the left wing and into center. Too much traffic in the lane. The Jets gain control of the puck against the wall. Picked off by Garland. And there's a big hit on the play. Physical hit shows engagement and sparking your team, and that's trying to ignite the fire in them. They certainly haven't been lit tonight. Oh, he hammered him. Uh, he knew exactly what he was doing going into this along the boards, James. I love that it was a clean hit. He finishes it off perfectly. He was locked in there. When a goaltender reads the play quickly, James, and they anticipate, they get to position quicker. When they get to position quicker, they get square to the shooter. That's exactly what he does here as he turns the wrister aside. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. 3 nothing is the score. Comes in off the wing as both centers were tied up on the draw. Great heads up play with the stick by Cole. Quick pass to Morrissey. Stops him cold. Vancouver's got a hold of it along the wall. Here they come up along the wing. Centering feed. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Scooped up along the wall 
by Connor. Pokes it away in his own end. With the stop. Cover it, cover it. Covers it up and we'll get a stoppage in play. And the centers glide towards the dot here as we got a face off set to go. The Canucks win the defensive zone face off. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Here we go, pucks in deep. And it's kicked away. And now he moves it quickly to Ehlers. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. Vancouver's got the puck. Oh, he'll feel that one. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Lowers the boom with that hit. Taken along the wall by Ehlers. And they turn it over in the neutral zone. Vancouver's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Look at this down the right wing. They're on the attack. The Jets finally get one back. Now can they get a few more? Uh, you certainly know that you can get back in the game. Only a two-goal deficit, and sometimes it doesn't take long when you're on your toes and you're playing with urgency. Winnipeg's won the draw, and they take possession here in the open ice. From the left side, it moves to the middle of the ice. And a solid save on the play there. Demko's been really sharp tonight, James, and then just have a look at his save percentage, and he making the stops that he needs to. And man, this team's played well. They've got going north, they've created opportunities, and a reason why they have a healthy lead. And they take possession after the defensive zone faceoff. Vancouver's got it in their own zone. Moves it to Bolardi. He carries the puck up along the wing. Centering feed! Oh, he comes up with a stop! And another save! What a great job of tracking the puck. Not one, but two consecutive saves. Winnipeg's got it now. Here's a short pass to Lowry. Fantastic save! They just keep coming in waves here in the offensive end! Up. Hughes plays the puck. Bennett goes off a stick. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. And that's intercepted by Gustafson. Down the left wing and into the offensive zone. Moves it to the middle. Scores! What a finish on the play! Just a fabulous goal, Jane, with a lot of elements woven into it. I mean, he's stumbling, so he almost falls, but he's able to get a shot off just in time. He's able to hold himself up and get that shot off. His hands away from his body. Not the greatest but he manages to find the back of the net. Winnipeg suddenly made this a lot more intriguing here in this second period. I know it's cliche, James, but the game is 60 minutes. It's only the second, and they've got themselves within one. A lot of runway to go. Puck picked up by Morrissey. And it's a quick pass to Lowry. Blocked in traffic. And he loses control here. Demko's opted to hang on to the puck for a faceoff. Winnipeg's put up a lot of shots and so far plenty of scoring chances, and yet they still trail here in the second. The Jets will go to work here in the offensive zone. Love save made by Demko. Just here in the late stages of this frame, the Jets have answered back in these last few minutes, but still need one more to even the score. Nice job tying up his opponent. And that's off target as it hits a body. The Canucks get a hold of the puck in their own end. And a good solid hit on that play. And he takes the feed. And they'll battle for that loose puck along the boards. Slides the pass over to Morrissey. Down the left wing, they gain the zone. Vancouver's got the puck. Looks to pass it to Garland. Dumps the puck in. Winnipeg's got the puck in their own end. Takes the feed. Moves it quickly over to Garland. Slides it up front. 
Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Winnipeg's had a lot of good looks offensively, but they have run into one hot goaltender, which is why they trail late in this second. Perfetti's won the draw in his own end. Now let's see if they can clear it. Winnipeg's looking to break out. Quick feed to Schmidt. And he takes the pass. An easy pass save made by Demko. Miller's falling to the ice, James, and he still has the capacity and the wherewithal to understand exactly where everyone is on the ice. I mean, that's an effective distributor to be able to get that pass off. Slides the puck over. Stoppage in play as the puck goes up and over. We'll get a face off. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. And after the draw at center, they've got a hold of the puck. And they cough it up in the neutral zone. The Canucks carry it along the wall. Quick pass to Pedersen. Big time stop by Hillebuck. Man, he was right on that puck. He knew exactly where it was. It was tight to the crease. He got it and challenged right away to make the save. And there's the horn bringing an end to period number two. Still 20 minutes more of action in the third. Stick around. Welcome back, everyone. Both teams lined up at center ice, and we are ready to get this third period underway. They have dropped the puck here in the third. Well, two periods down. Here we go with the third period. Cheryl, your assessment so far. Winnipeg's been holding on to the puck a ton. They've been doing a real good job of protecting and shielding the puck. It just hasn't translated into generation of offense. they got to continue to work on that through the third period. They are trailing, but it's right on them. You can feel it's on their stick, James. It's just a matter of getting another one. Loose it to Pedersen. Long jam in front. That's broken up. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Slides it back to the blue line. And that pass goes off a stick. I don't think anybody was hanging on to the puck after that hit. The Jets will play it from the defensive zone. And he takes the feed. Comes up with the stop. Puck is frozen and will get a face off. Lots of time left in this period. It's a one goal hockey game. 3 2 is where we sit. Vancouver's got it in the defensive zone. Directed over to Kuzmenko. Grabs it in his own end. And he slides it quickly to Garland. Feeds it on over to Pionk. Winnipeg's moving it into the offensive end. Sizzling shot and he makes the save. Winnipeg's been the better team, but not necessarily boasting the better goaltender, trailing early in the third. Suter's won the draw inside his own end. Vancouver's in now. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. And he makes the save. And now it's grabbed by Morrissey. Hellebuck's certainly not afraid to compete. I mean, he has been under siege all game long, and it's almost as if the more shots he gets, the more he thrives in the crease. Sends the pass over. Here's a short pass to Niederreiter. The Canucks go to work on offense. Hammers it on net. Oh, and it stays out as he gets a piece of that one. Niederreiter's got it into offensive territory. Here's a shot. Tanner comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net and reads the play perfectly and picks up the pass. <laughs> Inching closer to the midway mark of the period, Vancouver's hanging on to this 3-2 lead. 
Lafferty's won it off the faceoff. Great forecheck by Nemestikov. And it takes a shot. A quick save. A nice save that he didn't have trouble with, James, as he's able to read that quick release shot. Moves it quickly over to Myers. Gaining momentum up along the side. The Jets gain possession along the wall. Passes it over to Appleton. Quick feed to Nemestikov. Fires it on net. That's blocked by Demko. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. The Jets have the advantage in shots tonight, but they still find themselves trailing here in the third period. The Canucks start with the puck in their own end. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Quick pass to Pedersen. Oh, and he gets a piece of the puck to deny the bear. Sends it out in front, and that's stopped. Slides it over with pace to Perfetti. Takes the puck deep inside his own end. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Oh, there's a stoppage. That pane of glass got cracked after that heavy, heavy shot. Well, it's all about safety first here, James, and they're going to make sure that they replace that pane. You know, if it's fired, if it's cracked, and another shot comes or a big hit, that'll send it through to the fans. Puck scooped up by Cole. Things starting to get a little physical out there. by Shifley. The Jets move the puck in the defensive zone. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Picked up by Hironic. Inside his own end, moves the puck. And he takes the dish. The Jets gain possession in their own end. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Let's it go. chance there. Oh, it was a great chance and one that he will want back. The puck is all around him, though. If he continues to get to the right spots at the right time, you gotta figure he's gonna get one by the tendon. Off the crossbar! Winnipeg's been working hard all game, a reason why they're still in it, and they had an opportunity to cut the deficit, but goes off the pipe and out. The Jets are on the attack. Good stand-up hit on the play. Quick feed to Kuzmenko. They go on the attack from the left side. Shot denied by the goaltender. And he loses control of the puck. Moves it to Suter. Makes his presence known on the ice. Takes a shot. Here's a shot. And it's stopped by the club. Nice play there. The Jets continue to trail here in the third period despite being the busier team offensively tonight. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Here's a short pass to Zagora. And that's just out of reach. Fires it! Shuts him down! Carlin Baines line. She's standing by with the answer. Pedersen's played hard, guys, and he's even manufactured some offense in this game. I'm giving him my vote for this matchup tonight. Puck grab by Besser. Moves it quickly over to Ayafalo. Regains control here in the neutral zone. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Nice save by the goaltender to get a pad on that. Well, the shooter's gonna run out of real estate because he does a great job of getting out of top of the crease and taking away all the room. When you make yourself as big as possible, there's less holes in the net. And that's picked from someone in front. And he turns that one aside. Nice zone entry from the middle. Quick feed to Niederreiter. He was totally locked in on that play. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Good use of the body to knock them off the puck. Takes a shot. Oh, and there's a great save by Hellebuck. Puck picked up by Pionk. Now over to Ayafalo. Winnipeg's got the puck along the wall. 
And that's blocked. And now it's grabbed by Cole. Poked away at center by Ehlers. Dylan's got it in the defensive end. Situation critical as we approach the final minute of the third. Poked away, good read on the play there by the keeper. Quick pass to Garland. Susie's taking it from his own end. On the attack along the boards. And that's off a stick. Takes the pass. Possession of the puck. Winnipeg's emptied the net. The extra attacker's now out of the ice. Denies him in close. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. The net is empty. The extra attacker's out. And a huge face-off looming. Puck is dropped. And he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And that's all she wrote on this one as we are in the books. And what was a must-win situation, they deliver with a win and jump back into the series, Cheryl. Well, yeah, it gave them some life, didn't it? And they'll certainly be playing like that in the next game. They had a two-game deficit, James. It could have been three, and they could have been closed out in the series. But they've clawed their way back in, so this next game is pivotal. A fun night of playoff hockey, and these playoffs, well, they have been intense, and they have been electrifying so far, and we will see you at the next broadcast. For Cheryl, I'm James. Good night.